Now on GMA with this incredible video of an enormous humpback whale slamming into a boat off the coast of New Hampshire. Trevor Alt is here now with more. Trevor, this was quite the close call. Absolutely, Witt. And one of these fishermen said Monday his family asked him if he was scared the whale in the area was going to sink his boat. He said he thought it was like getting struck by lightning and never really happens. But lightning strikes do happen. And yesterday morning it struck in the form of a humpback whale. This morning, astounding video of a boat walloped by a whale in the waters of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Watch again that whale breaching the surface and falling directly on the boat. And I look back, and by the time I see it, the whale's head is already landing on the engine. Greg Paquette and Ryland Kenny were on board. I heard the water kind of rustle a little bit, and then all of a sudden I saw it breach and the mouth open. I was like, whoa. Ryland seen jumping off the side as the boat starts to roll. They say those few seconds felt like slow motion. You have to remember all this is happening, you know, from us, from the whale hitting the boat to us being in the water is four seconds. But it, it seemed like it, it was a lot longer. Mayday, mayday. Their boat was hit by the whale, uh, capsized. Brothers 19-year-old Wyatt and 16-year-old Colin Yeager were the ones who filmed this incredible moment, and they immediately rushed in to help. It was kind of... A second of like, oh man, what just happened? It was complete shock. And then it was immediately like, just drop everything and go get those guys out of the water. Um, and all the other boats around us did the same thing. The two fishermen safely climbing aboard the Jaeger's vessel as the whale moved on. They were just happy to be safe. They're happy to be out of the water. Experts say this kind of behavior from a humpback whale isn't unusual. It looks like it was actually actively feeding in a lunging behavior. They do accelerate as they're heading towards the surface of the, the water, and they break the surface of the water. I'm sure it was probably just as shocked as the people on the boat were. Greg and Ryland are thankful for the help from their fellow fishermen. I think we were really lucky today. That could have ended a lot worse. Unfortunately, you know, the, the boat took the took the brunt of it, but nobody was hurt. And experts say if you are out boating near a whale, you're supposed to give it about 100 yards of space. They did note the fishermen that the whale appeared unhurt. It stayed in the area for a sense of scale. That was a 23 foot boat that was knocked over and the whale dwarfs it in size. Mm. That's how big this animal is. Goodness, thank yeah. goodness for the Jaeger brothers. Feet away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More than 100 feet away? Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. But those Jaeger brothers, they were yeah. calm. so calm. Yeah. I know, 16-year-olds, no problem. Thank you very much, Trevor.